We have fantastic news from the folks at Nearstream as they have enabled NDI on their VM33 series of cameras. They released that this past week, but the firmware upgrade that was needed seemed to have some trouble getting pushed out. The software that was released to enable it came out no problem, but many users were reporting a firmware issue that wasn't being pushed to their device. Well, this evening, my device received the firmware update, and I was able to go ahead and up, update, upgrade that firmware to the next version, and NDI, NDI is, in fact, enabled, NDI HX. The way we're going to get there is following this procedure. Before you open up the software, go ahead and go into your app store and make sure you're on the latest version of your Nearstream software. Then open up the app itself, and you'll be presented with the option to add this camera, but you'll notice underneath it gives you the message that a firmware update is available. Let it go through its process, and it will reboot, and then you have the option of connecting. Now, once you're connected, we can go into the settings wheel and the device settings. About halfway down, we're going to find NDI mode and the settings with NDI mode. You can do custom resolution and bitrate, 1440, which is 2K, 1080, and 720, and then choose your bitrate as well. You can enable HEVC for recording or choose not to, and you can choose the preset bitrates and resolutions as well. I'm going to leave it as it came, and I'm going to turn on NDI mode. The message we get is that they're going to have usage data reported to them for licensing purposes, and then we get the pop-up that says it will disconnect this camera if we enable it. In order to reconnect to the camera, all you have to do is go back into the Add an Asset section and connect it, and it will give you the warning that you will now be disabling NDI if you choose to do so. Now let's go over to the Multicam app for Mevo and let's see how this folds in there. Opening up our, our asset menu, we can see we have one NDI source found. I can choose to connect here and then continue. Go into my camera, my image control settings, and I want you to see that we do have zoom. This is the actual optical zoom. The lens is moving in the Nearstream VM33 when I do this. And I also want to point out that not only do we zoom, but when we get past the 10x built-in optical zoom, we're going to have the option of pan, tilt, zoom, control. Uh, pan and tilt control. Once we get cropped in, once we go past that 10 times optical zoom, then within the crop, we can actually reset. We can move with the joystick, the PTZ joystick, and go side to side or up and down. Auto function, auto focus function still works here. But you'll notice as I, scroll, as, as I move my joystick left and right, I get just a little bit of movement because I'm just barely over 10 times. I'll zoom in just a little bit more or a lot. And I'll be able to move around that crop. And you'll be able to see the movement of that panning. I can go up or down just a little bit as well as I am cropped in enough to do so. Not only do we have the PTZ control within this, uh, when, we're, when we're cropped in, we also get the benefit of presets. So I can set my presets to be my different levels of zoom, or once I've zoomed in past that 10 times, I can set up presets cropped in to different sections of the screen. Preset 1, preset 2, zoom down a little farther, and then watch when we do preset 3. It's going to zoom in and then scoot up and scoot over so that you can see we have all of these options available to us in the image control in the Mevo Multicam app with a VM33 from Nearstream.